Good morning, everyone. Um, I decided to just go ahead and record this. Excuse my sniffles and everything, but because I believe I might have a cold. I've never really had a cold. But you move somewhere new, you're bound to get new allergies and everything. But that's all right. Okay. A co-worker of mine wants a junk journal for her sister for Christmas, and she wants it ocean-themed. So I figured I'd just jump on here, because I did not um, record the making of the paper for the junk journal. Um, that's pretty easy. You just dye all different kinds of paper with the color of whatever junk journal you're making. This one happens to be an ocean themed, so that's what I did. And that's those papers. And I figured I'll work on the front cover with you guys. I'm using Windsor & Newton white, titanium white acrylic, because I need to cover this purple. So let's get to it. Let me get this open. And I will just get a little palette. I should have already had that out, but sorry. I didn't. And I'll just put some in there. Because this stuff is like super expensive. It's crazy. But I've had it for several years because sometimes I need a solid white. All right, so I'm just gonna take a big brush. Let me move that over here. And I'm just going to cover, I like this blue, but it's got the name of the book on it. This was a rescued book, trust me. Um, it was going to go in the trash. I just couldn't have that. So, I buy the books at the library. And now I don't need to um, gesso this first because that, that white paint, that titanium white, is pretty solid. It might take a couple of coats to cover the purple. Yes, I could cover it with canvas, but I don't feel like doing that. Because I'd have to paint the canvas anyway. And since I'm going to paint this book, the front of this book, to match my theme, might as well just do it in one, one shot. As you saw my previous videos, I had my two of my grandchildren for the weekend, and they helped me do um, two of the pages for the little 3x4 mini art journal while they got to learn how to art journal. It was a lot of fun. They love to do new things, and I love teaching them new things. Art is good. I don't know if they have it in the schools anymore. They did when I was younger. I don't think they do anymore now. So. Oh, well. It is what it is. That's today's society, I guess. There's a lot of things that used to be in school that are no longer in school. I don't even know if they teach home ec anymore. That ought to tell you. But I'm just going to get these edges. Bring it in a little bit. I hope I'm on camera. Probably not. Sorry about that. But yes, the cold is wicked. Never had one. I mean, I've had you know, typical sinus infections and everything, but never a cold where your nose is stopped up, all this other garbage. It's a lot of fun. Not really. But you roll with the punches. That's all you can do. 
And then I'll be at some point in time. I got to figure out the camera setup for the really big um, fairy house that I'm working on because that's already been sold. And we'll need to finish it, or I'll need to finish it. And you can probably watch me if you want. You don't have to. I just figured I'd go ahead and get this made. Let this set this aside while I work on pockets and everything for this journal. And I'll just stand it up and let it dry. But that's my little short video for today. Um, when I go to decorate all this and everything and put it together, let me know if you want to see that. I'll be making an ocean themed junk journal. So leave me a comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you for all the beautiful comments about my grandchildren. That makes me very happy. Um, take care. God bless. Bye for now.